Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 Framework tutorial. This is our partner Forty. Inside this video, we will start about middleware basics as well as we will see about global middleware. So go to the next step. Before going to the deep concept of Laravel middlewares, first we need to know or understand about what is a Laravel middleware. So here we have few points. So the first point says that middleware provides a convenient mechanism for inspecting and filtering HTTP requests entering into the application. Let's say that we have an application. Inside that application, we are processing thousands of requests. So each request should pass a barrier before entering into the application. So that barrier is termed as level middleware. So according to scope wise, we create middlewares and each request should pass through that. The middleware detects and filters that HTTP request is valid or invalid, let's say authenticated or unauthenticated. Go to next. Middleware acts as a layer between the user and the request. It means that when the user requests the server, then the request will pass through the middleware. Obviously, as we have discussed inside this first point that middleware is a barrier through which each request through pass before entering into the application. So let's say that when user injects a request from the browser and when the request travels to the server, so before going into the application, it must pass through the middleware. Where middleware filters HTTP request that is it is valid or invalid. So mainly we use the concept of Laravel middleware for the authentication process to detect user is authenticated or unauthenticated. But apart from authentication, we have several uses of Laravel middlewares. For example, we have course middleware, which is responsible for adding headers to all of the responses. So according to the scope wise, we have three different categories of Laravel middlewares. The first we have global middleware, second we have group middleware and the third routed middlewares. Let's say that we want to create some middlewares which is going to apply globally throughout the application. It means before processing any request, applicant, application needs to verify and check that is it is valid or invalid. So in that case, we create global middleware because it is automatically get applied over each request inside application. But in some cases, let's say that we have thousands of routes and we don't want to use global middlewares. Instead of using global, if we want to create only for the 20 routes, let's say we have created an, a middleware which is going to apply only for the 20 routes. So this is termed as group middleware. Also, in some cases, let's say that we don't want to use this global middleware, group middleware, we want to use only for a specific route. So this is termed as routed middlewares. It is throughout the application, it is over a group and it is only for specific routes. To understand about the Laravel middleware concept, back to editor. And here as we can see that we have our folder structure. So if we go inside this app folder, HTTP folder, and inside this HTTP folder, we can see we have a middleware folder. All the middlewares like what we had seen like group, global and routed will go and store inside this middleware folder. These are the files by default generated when we have installed Laravel setup. But instead of using these, these files, if we want to create our new middlewares, then it automatically get stored inside this folder. So by the help of artisan command, we actually create our middlewares. So let's say that we have created some middlewares, but we need to tell our application that we have a middleware and we need to use that. So how can we tell? So to register, we have a file called kernel.php. Inside this kernel.php, which is inside HTTP folder, we generally register our middlewares. So inside this class, 
the first array is all about our global middlewares. It means these are the middleware classes automatically applies throughout the application. Now next, we have group middlewares. It means that these are the middlewares acts as a group and it is going to apply on a group of routes. Now next we have route middlewares. These are the routes means these are the middlewares only for a specific route. So inside this video, we will see the concept of global middleware. So in the next video, we will discuss about group and routed middlewares. So to understand about global middlewares, let's take a scenario. Suppose we have an application and what we want, we want that the request which comes from the country let's say US and India, it is going to accept that. But apart from US and India, let's say that we are getting some request from UK and we don't want to accept that. We want to restrict that country actually to allow or request to our server. So how can we restrict the users from UK actually don't do any request to our server or to our application. So if I open a new tab. And let's say that in our application, this is our project URL. And we are getting the request something, let's say, country equal to US. And as we know that we need to allow this request, so it should be allowed. Again, let's say some request we are getting from India country, so we need to allow. But in this case, we are getting our request from UK. So in this case, we need to deny this request. So simply, we are going to create a middleware that will be our global middleware in which we are going to filter our request and detect that it is valid or invalid. So back to terminal, let's create our middleware. So simply, to create a middleware, we are going to use artisan command. So let's say php artisan and if I press enter, go into our make group. This is our make command group and inside this group, we can see we have a make middleware command. It is going to create a new middleware class. So go here. Let's type php artisan help let's say make middleware if we press enter because inside this command we are going to open our help manual so as we can see inside this documentation that is when we run this command we need to pass the name of the class so inside this case or inside this scenario we are going to check the request or is a requested country so what i will do Simply let's say php artisan make middleware and let's say country check. This is the name of the middleware class. Pressing enter, middleware created successfully. Back to editor, reload this page. If we go inside this app, http middleware and we can see that we have a class that is a middleware class. And inside this class, we are going to load or let's say implement our logic which is going to verify that request is valid or invalid. So simply, we have created this middleware and we are going to apply this middleware globally throughout the application. So first, we need to register this country check means middleware to the application. So to register, we know we need to go inside this kernel.php this is for our global middlewares. So what I will do, simply copy this line, pasting it here. Let's say instead of trust proxies, we are going to use our country check what we have generated. Now simply we have registered. Now I need to implement our logic inside this country check middleware. That is, we need to actually detect the request coming country. So simply, as we know, if we back to slide, inside this URL, we have a country keyword. Let's say we have a key. Inside this key, we are getting the country code. So what I will do, simply go here. 
let's say that if here we have our request instance by the help of this request instance we are going to read our country key and its value so let's request here we have let's say country if it is set means it had some value and we have let's say our array inside this array means this is not array it's a php function and by the help of this function we are going to allow or let's say check that the requested country is inside our restricted countries or not so here we have allowed the request only for us and india so if i putting not here it means let's say the request country key has a value and that value is not inside this us and india it means either it will be from uk or any of the country so inside that case we need to redirect into a no access page or let's say simply access denied so what i will do let's return redirect and inside this we are going to pass a no access route because apart from these countries we are not going to allow our application routes so here we have some error so inside this php function in array it's an array so it will be our second parameter and inside first parameter here we have let's say country means it is request by the help of request we have country key so simply now next we need to make this no access route so what i will do copy this no access go to our routes folder open up web.php and inside this web.php let's register that so route we are going to use the view method inside this view method this is our route and next we need to create a layout so let's say with the same name we are going to create a layout so no access if i copy go to resources views and inside this views folder let's create our blade template file that is no access dot blade dot php and i think that this file actually already exists and already we have created that so inside this layout we have a message called access denied so successfully guys we have created a middleware and by the help of that middleware we have filtered our http request that is if we re if we get our request from other countries apart from these we need to block that otherwise request from these countries we are going to allow so after creating this middleware and its logic we have registered inside this kernel.php and inside this first array because this is the area we register where we register our global middlewares in case let's say that if we get any request from uk then we will get and go inside this no access route and no access route indicates we need to go inside this no access dot dot php where we will find about the message called access denied so back to browser and if i reload this page so we have some error so first we need to start all about development server so let's say php artisan serve our development server is started so if i get rid of that and as we can see that we have our landing page now inside this query string if we pass country equal to us now we are getting our response as this landing page it means the request is now successfully processed again if we type here india again the request has been processed but in case if we pass let's say country equals to uk and as we know that this is not the requested route if we press enter as we can see we have access denied that is no access route so again back here and instead of this route if i type afg for the afghanistan this is not the restricted area no access means access denied but in case if we pass the value as let's say us successfully as we can see that our request has been processed also if we want to allow uk then simply we need to go inside this country check and inside this array we need to add 
UK. It means we have actually told our application that these are our restricted countries. It means the request of these countries should process. Otherwise, apart from these countries, if we get any other country, then we need to go inside this no access route. So go here and if we type UK, then as we can see that this route is now working. But instead of using UK, if I type AFG, as we can see, we are getting access denied page. So inside this video session guys, successfully we had seen the concept of using global middleware where we have created a barrier which is going to handle the routes or its request throughout the application. In the next video, we will see the concept of group middleware as well as route middleware. And also, before closing this video, one more thing, if we want to print any value, let's say here, echo equals to request country, then this output is going to print inside each of the page what we have inside this application. So if I reload this page, as we can see, we are getting UK. If we put US, as we can see, we have the outputs. So it may, it simply says that it is a barrier which is going to apply through each of the request of application. Each request should pass with this handle method. And inside this handle method, we have put our restricted conditions. So in the next video guys, we will discuss our rest of the middlewares. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.